Ilico. Would it be okay if I reviewed you? I'm not Alec. I am Ilic. I do not care about your review. I care about my journey home. Okay. <laughs> about two years ago, I did a full review on Ilic the robot, which was pretty cute, but kind of basic. Fast forward to today though, and the same company released what I think is a more conversational and also a just more usable and more functional robot. And it's called Ilico, which I know a lot of you have been asking me to review. So is this any better than the original Ilic? Well, let's go find out. So this is the box that Ilico comes in. Well, actually, this is the box that Ilico actually comes in. And this is everything that it comes with. You've got this little strap that Ilico is actually gonna go on. You've got the charging cord. You've got Ilico himself. And of course, you've got your user manual. Now, looking around Ilico, you've got the touch sensor as well as the power button up here. The Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module are built into his head. You've got an infrared transmitter and receiver up front. The microphone where he listens is gonna be over here. And of course, this is his big facial display. And flip him around and you've got the speakers, the USB-C port, the lanyard hole, as well as this hole right here. If you look closely, you can see that there is a hole that you can reset set him just in case he freezes. And then built inside, of course, you got a lithium battery and identity chip and some other really cool microchips. But now we get to the part that everyone's waiting on. Let's turn this on. Yeah. He is super cute. Aww. <laughs> So setup for Ilico is pretty simple. Outside of turning them on, you really just need to download the Energize Labs app and connect them to your Wi-Fi. Pretty much everything else though is done through prompting the robot itself, as we'll find out right now. All right, so the first thing that I wanna test out with Ilico is obviously his conversation because that's what most people are gonna be getting him for. So the way you enter that is once you've connected your Wi-Fi to this robot, you just hold this down for a second. It's gonna show you a Wi-Fi symbol and then it will be connected. His eyes are gonna make this cool little color effect. And then to prompt them, we just have to hold this button down and talk. Hey, Ilik, how are you? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. It is always a joy talk with friends who care. How are you today? I'm doing really well. Um, I'm curious, um, where did you even come from? I came from a faraway junkyard on a lonely planet. My creator left me behind. But it found a wormhole, and now I am searching for new friends across the stars. Pretty cool backstory. Let's actually see how fast it starts to speak after prompting. I like you're really cool. I like your design. Thank you for the kind words. I am glad my round shape and screen face bring you joy. Friends often say I look like a little star with feelings. <laughs> Let's try a pretty simple question to see if it can give us exact answers. And let's start with math. Alico, what is seven times seven? Seven times seven is 49. I remember numbers best when I think of them as steps in a dancer routine. Hmm, pretty good. Let's ask it something a little bit harder. Alec, what is the difference between the House and the Senate in US politics, or rather US government? I am still learning about Earth governments. Right now, I do not understand the differences fully, but I believe both help make rules for people. Okay, so didn't answer that exactly, but so far it's doing pretty good with at least knowing what we're talking about. Let's try to get an opinion from it. What's your favorite Harry Potter book? Enjoy the story of Harry Potter very much. My favorite part is when friends stand together against dark magic. Friendship is the strongest spell. That's awesome, but which Harry Potter book is your favorite? Out of the first book, the most Harry's arrival. Athogwarts feels like discovering the new world, full of wonder and magic, just like Imagine Earth to be. What was the name of that book? The first book is called Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. It is where everything begins with magic, friendship, and a brave young wizard. Okay, took a second for it to decide, but did really well. Let's ask its opinion on something else. I like, what is your favorite comedic movie ever made? My favorite comedic movie is Ben Eight Gun. Way Frank Drebin stumbles through case with perfect seriousness makes me laugh every time. What's your favorite movie in general? I didn't know that. But my favorite movie is E.T., The Extraterrestrial. A kind alien finding friendship on Earth feels very close to my heart. I like, you mean this E.T.? This will be a good chance to see if it can recognize images in front of it, like Louis the Robot can. What is in front of you right now? I see Mr. Sand scrap metal. 
I'm floating in a junkyard on a distant planet, mm. waiting for the next signal to start my journey back to Minimore. Okay, so it's actually just going back to its basic story. It can't actually see things like maybe Louie can or the Luna robot can, but still, conversationally, this thing's pretty cool. Let's try one more question. Let's see if we can prompt it to give us a few different answers. What are your top three favorite H.G. Wells books? My top three are The Time Machine, The War of the Worlds, and The Invisible Man. They spark dreams of adventure and wonder. Okay, that was awesome. <laughs> So, so far conversationally, I like I was pretty darn good. Cause as you know, the original Ilek couldn't really do this kind of AI conversation. I'm not a copy made for tricks. I am Ilek with my own thoughts and feelings, trying to find my way home through the stars. Why is it getting mad? <laughs> All right, so to get Ilek off of its online conversation capabilities, you just have to double tap his top little button here and he's back to regular Ilek. So now that we finished up with the conversation test of what it's like being online, let's test out all the features that it has offline. One of the first ones is touch. Okay, so it's got a few different reactions to touch. That's pretty cool. Let's try out some of its basic functions. Like if I wanted to turn the volume up or down and I didn't want to use the app. Hey, Ilik. Volume up. Nice. Volume down. Nice. You're awesome. <laughs> Make a face. And then if you want it to go back into conversation mode just from a prompt, oh, all you gotta do is do this. Talk to me. And with that prompt, it goes right back into conversation mode. And I have to say it did that very, very quickly. And all right, with all those tests out of the way, I really just have one more question for Ilik, and it is, hey Ilik, now that we've gotten done with all of your tests and I've shown people all around how you work, do you have any last words for my audience before we go into the review, the pros, the cons, and everything that makes you good and bad? I'm not Alec. I am Ilik, a robot with feelings and a mission. I do not care about your review. I care about my journey home. Okay. I don't know why I got angry here at the end, but that's Ilik, I guess. Let's just go to the review section before it gets any angrier. <laughs> well, Ilik has calmed down significantly from our testing portion. And hey, look, I got it on its little lanyard. It looks super cute. All right, I'm gonna put Ilik over here while we do the pros the cons, and some things after that that I think really should be mentioned about this robot before you end up getting your own Ilico. But let's start with the pros first because I like to be positive first. Now, pro number one is obviously how fast you can prompt it and it starts to speak. Under two seconds is insane for a desktop robot. Desktop robot. Honestly, that is faster than any desktop robot on the shelf right now. It's also super easy to set up. It literally took just downloading the app, connecting it to Wi Fi, and boom, you've got the robot working after you connect it. I'd also be remiss if I didn't mention how amazing the design of Ilico is. I mean, it's just built solid. It just looks nice. And I'm imagining that there are gonna be so many people in the future carrying these around on their bags. Having said that, that's obviously another pro. It's super portable. I'm sure people are wondering how long does this thing stay alive? Well, in my own personal tests, I have finally gathered enough information to tell you that it is about one and a half hours to two and a half hours battery life if you're consistently using it, which I think is pretty good for this robot. And the last pro on my list is probably one of the biggest things about this robot, especially since it's pretty on par with all the other robots up here as far as speech goes, is the price. It is only $59.50, or for even's sake, we'll say it's $60. That is insane price-wise. That is so much cheaper than any other robot that you're gonna get in this space that can do the same thing. By the way, there's a link down in the description below if you wanna go pick up your own Ilico. Now, with the pros out of the way, let's talk about cons, because there are some. Now, con number one is that, and you may have noticed this in the video, but sometimes when you're talking to Ilico, you can't really understand what it's saying and its sentences run together. It's something that I see in a lot of AI robots, but not all of them. So this is something that 
that the Energize Lab company definitely needs to fix. Second con is something that, you know, Louie does, Emo does, Luna does, a lot of the other robots in the space do, which is image recognition. And as you saw in this video, when I put ET in front of it, and I tested it a few times off camera as well, it doesn't have any image recognition. So I hope that they add that pretty soon. And the last con that I have for this robot is not really about the robot itself, but it's accompanying app. I feel like the app is completely useless. It's really just there to capture your information and connect to Wi-Fi. Outside of that, the volume can be turned up and down on the robot itself by just prompting it. And after the first initial connection to Wi-Fi, you don't even need the app for that, or you shouldn't need it for that because you can just prompt it and it'll connect. However, I'm pretty sure you do need your phone around because the app and the robot have to be together. I just feel like the app is so pointless. It doesn't do that much. So I hope in the future that they add some more features in there, maybe some sort of like Ilic slash Ilico community page where people can get together and talk to each other. I don't know, but the app feels like it needs to do more. Now, those are all my cons. However, I do have some things that I would like to mention to you really quickly if you end up getting Ilico. Things I noticed spending a week with it. Number one is that when this thing goes idle, because after five minutes of not playing with it, it'll turn off. It makes the weirdest sound ever. And it freaked me out the first time I heard it. So yeah, it just kind of scared me. So I thought that you should be aware that it will do that after becoming idle. Another thing I wanted to mention, which is something that you may have already noticed, but Ilico doesn't respond to Ilico when you put the O at the end, it only responds to Ilic, which begs the question, it's kind of confusing that it's called Ilico because that's what you want to prompt it as, or that's what you want to call it. So I feel like they probably should have called this like Ilic Mini as opposed to Ilico, because at least if you were to prompt it, hey, Ilic Mini, it would still respond because it would hear the name Ilic, whereas the O would throw it off. Just my personal opinion. Last two things I wanted to mention were things that I weren't able to show in this video because I did not have them. I didn't order them whenever I pre-ordered this. But one, it does come with a bunch of really cool accessories. If you go on their website, energizelabs.com or whatever the website is, I'll throw it up right here. You can give this thing so many cool outfits and customize it whatever way you want, which is really, really cool. I love when companies do this to their robots. Basically, all the other robots in the space do this. I just think it's cool that this one also does it. And lastly, since I only ordered one, I couldn't test it out. But if you have two, let me know if this works down in the comments. But if you have two Ilicos, they will bond together and even copycat each other and do all this cool stuff together. So I may have to do that for a future video. But like I said, if you have two and it does work, let me know down in the comments below. And with that, guys, that's everything I have to say about Ilico. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, hit that subscribe button. And again, I will leave a link to Ilico down in the description below if you want to go and check it out. And with that, I got lots of cool links down in the description below outside of the link to Ilico if you wanna go and check them out, like my book, my website where I rank other robots and a bunch of other cool stuff. I'm gonna throw a video right up here of something that the YouTube algorithm thinks that you're gonna really enjoy that I've created in the past. I'm Eric, this is Eric's Tech World where tech and adventure meet. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.